Hey guys, talk from the Go Hog. Hold on, I'm gonna show you a new product that we're coming out with, Stream Sluice Power Hit. Hey guys, Doc from the Gold Hog, and we've got storms overhead. We were supposed to head up to the mountains, but uh, guess what? We're just gonna go behind the warehouse. Here are the trucks. We're just gonna go behind the warehouse. I got a tent set up in case it starts to pour again, but I gotta get this video shot for this new Stream Sluice Powerhead. I guess we're gonna call it Power Pig. Um, there's a bunch of features. There's a bunch of stuff to explain on this. So I gotta get going. I'm not gonna waste a lot of time. I'm gonna run through this real quick because it gets a little complicated because of all the variations you can do. It's been three years I've been putting this off, several months in development on this product. So here we go. First, let me grab the box and show you. This is, um, this is the new Power Pig head. It looks a lot like the multi sleuth box, but it's a little bit different. Real heavy construction, lots of labor in this thing, real heavily, it's all welded, all TIG welded. There's not a rivet inside this thing. Uh, you got metal supports back here. You've got a slot on the front. You've got a hole at the top, um, a little lip right here, and you'll understand what all this does in just a second. This unit is different because it runs differently. It runs opposite of most power heads. But what's cool about this thing, is so many features, is you can run a one and a half, a one and an eighth inch bilge pump hose. So normal bilge pump hose, okay? So this is normal bilge pump hose connector right here but then you can also go to an inch and a half so you can run a full two inch trash pump to this thing um, and run it almost like a high banker if you wanted to and neck down the flow with a valve so it comes with this fitting and it comes with a one and a half um, so you can run it both ways it'll fit just about any 10 inch stream sluice it's designed obviously for our stream sluice uh, but if your stream sluice is 10 inches wide these little slide slots. The nice thing about these things right here is this allows you to adjust the angle of the water flow based on the GPH. So that's sort of a summary of the box and let me show you, let's move into what pumps we can sort of use it with next. Okay, so you can see I've got it set up. There's the one and a half and there's the one and one eighth. So it comes with both pieces of plumbing. It does not come with two boxes. It comes with both pieces of plumbing. So one and one eighth, and they just exchange out of the same hole. We've designed it so that they both fit through the same hole. Something that's something that's kind of cool on this is this actually adjusts. This swivels around, so if you want your hose going this way, or if you want your hose out there. So wherever you want your one and a half inch hose, you can adjust it and it'll go out one way. And then obviously this is the one and one eighth inch. Okay, so when we're talking about pumps, the cool thing about this is you can run basically any pump you want with this thing. So you can run an 1100 GPH pump. This is a 2000. This is a, you can go 3000. That happens to be a 3700 GPH. This is a WX15 one and a half that puts out about 4200. This is a uh, one and a half inch uh, semi-trash pump that puts out like 6000 GPH or something. But you can run any size. As long as you have a valve on there to control it, you know, you can run any size pump you want because you've got one and an eighth inch and you've got one and a half. Now obviously, depending on the pump that you use will determine what type of matting you're gonna use in this. Obviously, if you're running um, you know, a 2000 GPH pump and you're going 10 inches wide, you're gonna have to use in our system the low velocity mat, which is Razorback and Downdraft and UR mainly. If you start to go up to one of the larger pumps, then you can run the full aggressive mat and really blast material through. But here's the cool part about this. If you use a larger pump with this, you get to use the flare system. I'm gonna show you how this attaches. You get to use your flare as a dump area. That's the problem with the majority of these power heads. The majority of these power heads that are on the market is they actually make you take the flare off and put a power head on and then there's no place to dump dirt. So let me show you how that works. So all we've done is we've removed this one screw out of the stream sluice, put the box on it, kind of tight in there put the box on it and now what we've done is uh, we put it back and we've got our power head attached in here the nice thing again is this slot this slot right here this slot will allow you to adjust the angle of the water flow 
because depending on the pump that you're using, you're gonna want it to hit different places. You may want the 1100 to hit higher up here. You may want the larger pump to hit here. You can adjust this angle on here, which is really cool. This is really sturdy. Once you lock this in here, I mean, you could drive a truck over this thing. It's so well made. But once this is in here, it's not gonna move. It's not gonna flop around. Now, today, I'm gonna also show you, uh, we don't sell this little piece right here, but I'm gonna show you how to make that real quick. So all this is, is I went to Lowe's. Let me get that off of there. I went to Lowe's and I bought a piece of one and a half inch angle iron. Aluminum, it's 1 16th inch by one and a half by one and a half. If you can find two, you can find two. And what I did is you can see the angle that I cut it on. So I cut the angle to the width of it, and then I just sort of cut an angle there. Then I drilled a hole through there, through both of them, and I attached it with a screw. Now I've got a little, if I really want to run aggressive with my water, I've got a place that'll hold in the water here. You don't have to have that. Because here's what's cool about this system is once this water starts running, once the water starts running in here, it's just like our multi-sluice system where the water actually reverses on itself. You can dump a pile of dirt and you can sit there and you can work this material and you can throw rocks off the backside. You can wash big rocks and throw them off the backside. So here, if you've got a lot of water running, you really don't have to classify. Your classification level will depend on how much water you have and the matting that you're using. So anyways, I don't want to go too much more into it. Um, we're just going to set some pumps up and run it and let you see it running. Hey guys, and one, one other note on this too, Mike brought this up. We're sitting here talking about it and you can hear the raindrops coming down. But one thing you can do with this is you can set up your stream sluice in a stream that's got low velocity, put the power head on it, allow the water stream water to go through and add another 1100 GPH or add another 2200 GPH. So you actually have the water coming in plus the water coming in from that. So that's a unique feature to this. You can actually run your stream sluice as a stream sluice. Then if you need extra water, you can add water to it. A very key feature to this thing. It's really cool. Hey guys, so when you want to change out your uh, fitting, right now I've got the one and a half on there, but I want to go to one and one eighth. All you're going to do... Take your one and a half off. Now I'm going to put the one and one eighth in. There you go. And so now you've switched it out. So you've gone from one and a half to one and one eighth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through a series of different pumps and different settings. But you know what? This is also a good example of mats versus GPH, too. So this is an 1100 GPH pump running. I've tilted my box up high so that my water shoots a little bit higher up. And now I can dump material here and work it into this water system. And you can see that it's flowing. I probably need to take just a little bit of pitch off that so I get rid of those rooster tails. Now, if it were me, this would be a good setup. I'd probably put in alternating washer mat and you are is what I might do in here if I was running something like beach sand. That would be a good so good solution. You would have to classify this to probably one eighth of an inch just because of the reduced energy in exchange. So the lower the GPH, the more you're gonna have to uh, classify because you can't change the width of a sluice. If you haven't watched proportional force video, watch proportional force. Now let's hook up a 2000 GPH pump and let's see the difference. Okay, so here's a 2000 GPH bilge pump. That's a 2000 GPH bilge pump. We got more water going in, but you can see that I've got a little bit more water in here a little bit deeper even though I still have that and you take a little bit of pitch off there so that's 2000 GPH still I'm probably at 2000 GPH I'm still gonna have to classify to probably quarter of an inch but again I've got a nice area to dump material let me just grab a little bit of material 
All right, so I've got some classified material here. So you can see, here's a nice thing. This is what I'm talking about. So I can put my material back here and allow that material to work through, or I can dump it right in here, either way. So I can get it all I can do, can do whatever washing I need, and then it's gonna work its way down through. But this is a really cool feature of this, the ability to go ahead and just work this, have a working area right here. And you'll see it when we start to crank this up to the higher GPHs, you'll see it. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up a 3700 GPH electric bilge pump to this, a cheap one, and show you how that runs at one and a half inch. Okay, so now what I've done is we've taken a 3700 GPH bilge pump, you can see I've got quite a bit of water in here. Now I've got a good washing area where I can actually sit here and wash the material. And I've got more water flow going in here. And I can adjust this head right here. I can adjust that head up and down. So I can do whatever I want here, make more water or less water flow through them. So that's 3700 GPH filled pump. I still don't need my back plate here. My back plate really is only when I'm going up closer to four or 5,000 GPH. But you can see I've got a lot more water depth in here. And I could actually use my aggressive mat now with this. If I want to, I can actually point this up higher, have it hit further back on here. Or I can shoot it down like this. But again, a nice area to dump your material. Just sit here and work it. Let it feed down through. All right, so here's the really cool aspect of this. And that is the fact that I've got a pump that's, what, close to 5,000 GPH running right now on a stream slough. Pretty much all the way open. I've got that little metal piece back here, and so I've got a flood chamber sitting right here. I'm not gonna change, I'm not gonna worry about my map settings right now. So you can see, that's a lot of water flowing through there. So I probably should have my number one mat in there. Reduce it down. Turn that. And now I can reduce it down. That does not hurt a pump, by the way. Read the form. So now I've got a nice running unit. That thing is just beautiful right there. Small pump. That pump would also work the WX15. I want to really crank it up. Her up. There she is, full blast. Got a massive flood chamber in here. Water flowing underneath here. So what I'm going to do now? Ooh, I'm dark. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to dump some basically raw hay into this and show you it working rough. So now 
we got some of this real nasty, nasty stuff. It's dry and there's a lot of clay, so let's dump it in and see what happens. So I put about half a bucket in there, and it's just sitting there, and you can see that it's creating a slurry. Now I can just work this down. If I see any big rocks, gonna pull them out and every so often just check right under there make sure there's not a big rock sitting there but I can work this through and I can work any rock so this is raw pay dirt here you can see how nasty it is but it's really nice because you can control the thickness of the slurry from up here and it will not impact you can my hand does not impact that water flow in the slope. It doesn't matter. Alright, so there's a whole five gallon bucket with two dumps, no classifying, and I'm just sitting here watching it heat away at this. way up high because of the pool. Just reach in. If you get any big rocks that stop in your sluice, just reach in, pick them up. So anyways guys, that's the new uh, power pig. It's a little bit different concept. Like I said, I we don't sell that end piece for the sluice system. Uh, you have to make that L bracket yourself. It's not worth it. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy that piece of aluminum, that L bracket for like eight bucks. If we have to do it, we have to add on labor, we have to add on shipping and it doesn't ship. So we're not gonna make that end piece for the sluice. But the power head pig with the two attachments all come together, ships, um, pretty cool. We're actually in here and you can see lead. And there was actually gold up in here. Now that the water's all dirty, it's pretty hard to see. But we could actually see gold up in here. But there's lead pieces all in here, little pieces of lead shot. And we were seeing super fine gold up in here. So that's it, guys. Pretty cool. Again, you can still access your mat if you have one of our stream sluices. Just pull that out. Your mat slides out from underneath. You can clean your mat out. Run again. So uh, this is pretty funny. Uh, we were just blowing water through that, through the sluice and the mats, blowing out the mats. We were just running, there were a little bit of concentrate and the rest of it's raw pay. But let me show you what we actually caught in there. That's pretty cool. Blowing water through there, I don't know if you can see. So, uh, that's not too bad. Like I said, we were blowing water through there. We barely had any cons left in the mat and we still had all that gold in there sitting there. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, so that's uh, that's our new power sluice, the Power Pig for 2017, 2018. Should be available on the website. When it goes up on the website, you'll be able to order it. Stay tuned. Doc Goldhog. Yeah.